know, I know. But I know what he was going to do. Stan, yeah. give us some music, and then they crank up the, the music tunes. up. Usually the nice. fight song. You know, it's, it's interesting. Awesome. In Austin, oh, wow. they like to call themselves weird. Right. So it'll keep be, Austin weird. Keep they, Austin weird. There's a fight, whether it belongs to Portland or Austin. Right? It'll be interesting to see some of these Portlanders and Oregonians heading out that see way. See the clash. Right. Battle it out. Wow. Right? Right? I hope they behave themselves because New Mexico <laughs> is where people have been known to break bad. So That's true. Oh, man. Yeah. They may be making a pit stop. Yeah. We'll see what happens. Yeah. Let's see. What, I, I'm on the side of the road. curious to see what's going to happen in weather tonight. In weather tonight, we're watching for more fog. But before that, I have a really cool sunset picture to show you. And, of course, we got to talk about the conditions for the big game happening this Monday. Not going to be as cold as it's going to be tonight there and through the weekend. So Jeff and them are about to hit the road and head into some much colder weather. But it'll be a lot milder by Monday. Temperatures in the mid-40s, mostly cloudy skies. Maybe a sprinkle or two if for the folks tailgate. But of course, everybody will be indoors. The game will be indoors, so no issues or concerns with that at all. Uh, Milwaukee sunset. Take a look at this. This is just beautiful. Thanks to Amanda Parsons for sending in this. I had a feeling we're going to see a really nice looking sunset tonight, and we've gotten some really cool pictures. If you have them, please send them to us. Reported at coin.com. I have some more I'm going to show you coming up here over the next half hour or so. Out there right now, of course, the uh, sun's gone down and temperatures continue to drop. We topped out at 45 today, and our our low this morning was at 35, so we're right at normal as far as temperatures go and pretty much right on par for where we should be for this time of the year with the high. Uh, we didn't get as warm as yesterday because we didn't have as much sunshine around. And as far as the rain is concerned, if you think that it's dry for the month of January so far, you're right. So far, we've only had uh, just shy of a quarter of an inch of rain. Normally, by now, we're already nearing an inch and a half. So we're below normal. We'll try to make up for it a little bit this weekend, but these next couple of systems that head our way just look pretty wimpy for us. So I don't think we're going to do that. I think we're going to stay below average as we go into much of next week. Right now, January off to a very dry start. 41 degrees right now. Feels like it's 37, though, uh, when you factor in just that little bit of a breeze. Take a look at this sunset. This is a time lapse looking out from Timberline out towards uh, Mount Jefferson. And it was just a beautiful sunset. You can see those high clouds streaming on in, along uh, mixing along with some of the lower clouds and fogginess. So a really nice View from up there. Astoria, right now, uh, clouds rolling in, but no fog for you. And the coastal areas have been able to escape that uh, for much of the week, as has Central Oregon, too. But not today. Wait until you see what it looks like in Bend. Low 40s as we head through the rest of this evening, mostly cloudy skies, and watching for potential fog to develop. It shouldn't be as dense or as widespread as what we have seen for uh, the past few days. Now, there will be some locally areas that will see some dense fog, but you can already see visibility is not too, too rough. Up near Scappoos, we're seeing uh, the densest fog here in the valley on up into southwest Washington over in the Scappoos area where it's at a quarter of a mile at this point, but by far and away, Ben is dealing with the majority of it. And here, temperatures are below freezing, so uh, we're dealing with freezing fog, which makes those roads a little bit icy at times, so be careful there. Highs today, only 39 in Ben, thanks to the fog. Uh, the past couple of days, you've been in the 50s. Uh, over along coastal areas, temperatures in the upper 50s for Newport, out toward Baker City. We topped out right at the freezing mark. Hood River now at 39, and the Dow's at 40, watching for more fog to develop out in that area. And we're in the low 40s up and down the valley, and again, below freezing out toward central. Oregon. A cloud cover will continue to roll in, but not much in the way of rain. So if you want a dry weekend, uh, we won't get it completely dry, but it's going to be dry for much of it. High pressure is going to move out, so that's going to take away uh, some of that sunshine for us. These next systems move in, but they're just not going to be able to bring in a whole lot. Here's how it plays out starting Friday morning, 845. We'll have the low clouds around, fogginess around central Oregon and across parts of eastern Oregon too, but we stay dry. Not as much sunshine tomorrow, so temperatures back to the 40s for highs, and then the rain tries to push into coastal areas, but not until overnight tomorrow night. So you have a dry Friday. Saturday morning, we'll wake up to maybe a few sprinkles around. Uh, most of that's just going to be across the higher terrain. We'll try to get in a little bit of mountain snow for our ski resorts, and then that fizzles on out. Then Sunday, 245, we're just now getting some of that rain pushing into the coast, so most of Sunday looks dry. Sunday night will be a little bit wetter for us, though. Seven-day forecast, and we're not going to see much in the way of rain anytime soon. As we go through the weekend, just that slight chance Saturday, and then Sunday evening and overnight into Monday. Monday, we start to clear things out, just dealing with a fogginess, kind of like what we've seen this week. And then we'll try for that sunshine in the afternoon and then watching for perhaps the next system to move in at the end of next week. So this time of the year is a lot wetter than what we're seeing right now. It's a little different for us. It is. It is. And fog again. I just can't believe it tonight. Yeah, be careful on the roads. Yeah. It shouldn't be quite as bad, though. Oh, that's good. good news there. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Thank you, Kristen.